My name is Samer Audi, and in five minutes or less, I will explain what virtualization is and how you can benefit from it. So let's start. In computing, virtualization is the process of creating a virtual version of something like virtual computers or computer network resources. Okay, it looks like I confused everybody my mistake let me start from the very beginning the computing devices that we use are physical in the sense that we can see them we can hold them touch them etc inside our physical computers there are other physical components like storage disks memory chips and so on while our computers are indeed physical no one would explicitly say my physical computer it simply goes without saying so what is a virtual computer? It is a non-physical computer or a virtual version of a computer. In other words, a virtual computer does not physically exist, but rather digitally exists, usually within a physical computer. One or more virtual computers called guests may exist within a physical computer referred to as a host. In the IT industry, we use the term virtual machine or VM. But then you might ask, why do we need virtualization? What's the point? What are the benefits? To name a few, effective use of hardware resources, efficiency, agility, responsiveness, reduce costs, and I can go on and on and on. Perhaps an example might help. Let's say today you want to get into information security and therefore you will need to install Kali Linux and a Windows 7 target and you need to use them both at the same time. What will you do? Buy two new computers? The answer is no and the effective solution is to have the two machines as VMs on your own computer. Now that we discussed the benefits, you might still have a ton of questions. Can I have a VM on my own computer? Can I have more than one VM on a computer? How many VMs can a host have? Will I be able to use the VM as a regular computer? So many questions. To answer all these questions, we need to understand how it works. We said that a VM does not physically exist, but it does exist. VMs appear to exist through the magic of software. More specifically, virtualization software or hypervisors. A hypervisor allows us to create, run, and manage VMs. The VM may have access to any number of resources from the host, including the CPU, the memory, storage disk, network interfaces, and so on and so forth. There are many hypervisors from different vendors. Hypervisors may vary based on many features, including the platforms they support and the way they run the guest VM, but let's leave that for another video. Here are some of the better known hypervisors in the market. Some of them are commercial, some of them are free and open source. Now let's go back and answer some of the common questions that you might have. Can I have a VM on my computer? Absolutely. You will simply need the appropriate hypervisor. There are many free and open source hypervisors out there. Go and research the one that suits your need. Can I have more than one VM on a computer? Yes, remember that the VM uses the computing power and resources of your computer, so the limit is the power and resources of the host. Will I be able to use the VM as a regular computer? Yes, and I will demonstrate that, but in another video. What can I and can't I do on a VM? The features and limitations are constrained by the capabilities of the host and the features available through the hypervisor. This has been an introduction to virtualization in five minutes or less. Thank you for watching.